Welcome to True Crime Podcast with your host Kishore. Today, we delve into the mysterious disappearance of Cole Thomas. How does an honor student with a bright future vanish into thin air? This is the disturbing question that haunts the family of Cole, a promising young man of just 22. Cole, a model son and a stellar student, had earned a scholarship to the esteemed University of Florida. However, life took an unexpected turn when Cole decided to drop out of college and travel to Minnesota, aspiring to be an apprentice electrician. Despite their concerns, his family trusted his judgment and supported his decision. But then, unexpectedly, all communication with Cole ceased. His phone was unattended, his bank account untouched. As the family's worry escalated, they embarked on a desperate search, reaching out to his friends, co-workers, anyone who might have information. A lead pointed to North Carolina, where Cole had apparently journeyed with two co-workers, news that was unbeknownst to the family. As days turned into weeks with no word from the family's worry, metamorphosed into a deep-seated dread. Their worst fears were realized when they received a call from the Benson, North Carolina Police Department. The announcement was like a gut punch. Cole was officially a missing person. However, this family, resilient and determined, were far from conceding defeat. Tune in as we delve deeper into this gripping true story. Unbeknownst to his family, Cole had embarked on a mysterious 1,100-mile road trip. The journey, which he undertook with two of his co-workers, was shrouded in uncertainty. These were men his family didn't know, men they'd never even heard of before Cole's disappearance. It was a baffling decision from someone who was known for his responsible and cautious nature. The road trip took them to Mount Olive, North Carolina. A quiet town, it was the last place you'd expect to find an honors student from Florida. Yet it was here that one of the last known sightings of Cole was captured. Grainy surveillance footage from a local convenience store showed the three men during their sojourn. What was supposed to be a simple pit stop would later become a crucial piece of evidence in this perplexing case. Days passed without a word from Cole. His silence was more than just unsettling. It was completely out of character. And then, a glimmer of hope, or perhaps, the start of a nightmare. Cole's on and off girlfriend received a Facebook message. A mutual friend had reached out, sharing the chilling news that Cole was missing. The Thomas family's world came crashing down when they received a call from the Benson Police Department. Their son, Cole, was officially a missing person. The boy who had been their pride and joy, the young man who had his whole future ahead of him, the son they had kissed goodbye not so long ago, was now a subject of a missing person's investigation. With every tick of the clock, the mystery surrounding Cole's disappearance deepened. The questions multiplied and the answers seemed to vanish, much like Cole himself. But amidst the swirling storm of confusion and fear, one thing was crystal clear to Cole's father. He wasn't going to sit around and wait for answers to come to him. As the mystery deepens, Cole's father decides to take matters into his own hands. The journey to find his son had just begun, a journey that would lead him down a road filled with twists and turns, a road that would challenge everything he thought he knew about his son. Fueled by a father's love and desperation, the search for Cole intensifies. Chris, Cole's father, drops everything and makes the heart-wrenching journey to North Carolina, a state that holds the last known whereabouts of his son. The bitter chill of the unknown wraps around him as he steps onto the unfamiliar soil of Benson a place now etched in the family's memory as a haunting reminder of Cole's sudden disappearance. Upon arrival, the family makes a beeline for the local police station, the epicenter of a search effort that grows more frantic with each passing moment. The officers there recount the initial story given by Cole's travel companions, painting a picture of a panic attack that supposedly led Cole to run off into the night. It's a story that's as perplexing as it is unsettling, but something about this narrative doesn't sit right with the family. The idea that Cole, a young man known for his level-headedness, would suddenly succumb to such fear seems unlikely. Doubts begin to creep in, and the family's trust in these companions starts to waver. The picture painted by the police begins to crack, revealing inconsistencies that hint at a deeper, darker truth. But the family isn't convinced by this story, and they're about to uncover a chilling piece of evidence. The truth, they say, is stranger than fiction. And in Cole's case, it's also far more terrifying. As Cole's family delves deeper into the mystery, they find themselves wrapped in a web of contradictions. The story told by Cole's companions of a sudden panic attack leading to his disappearance 
doesn't gel well. It's a narrative that feels too convenient, too simplistic for a man who was known for his calm demeanor and level-headedness. The family's suspicions are further fueled when they stumble upon surveillance footage from a local gas station. The footage, stark and unforgiving, presents a different version of events. There's no panic attack. Instead, we see Cole, his companions, and a surprise strip search. The narrative suddenly shifts, hinting at something far more sinister. Then, there's Jeremy's story, a chilling account that takes a dark turn into the unknown. Jeremy claims to have heard gunshots shortly after Cole's supposed panic attack. He believes something happened to Cole, something he didn't see, yet the implication is clear. Could this be the missing piece in the puzzle? Or just another layer in this intricate web of mystery? The truth about Cole's disappearance remains elusive, buried beneath layers of inconsistencies and half-told stories. The family's quest for answers turns into an agonizing wait, a hope that someone somewhere knows something. With more questions than answers, the search for Cole continues, leaving us all to ponder. What truly transpired with Cole Thomas? This has been True Crime Podcast with your host, Kishore Nayak. Join us next time as we continue to unravel the mysteries of the unsolved.